Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. And today I'm going to show you a very effective route on how to farm legendaries and experience to level up as much as you want. Stay tuned. All right, it's time for another guide and I'm sorry I haven't been posting so much lately, but I have been sick with a nail polish allergy on my hands and face. Yeah, don't ask me, but red spots all over the place and it has been difficult to even touch my computer or do anything whatsoever. Anyway, let's get started. And I think before you jump into the actual route, you need to maximize your perks and sleep in your camp's bed or anywhere else you can find for the 5% experience bonus and also the stamina bonus. So play some music because it always helps. Now, ideally you want to get some buffs as well with you. Don't forget food and water as usual, but the buffs can really help you kill faster and resist damage and it really depends on what you decide to pick. For the perks, I suggest a strong damage build. I'm using my usual melee build and occasionally I switch one perk with um, inventory space. On Charisma, you should use Inspirational if you are playing in a team for extra experience or Lone Wanderer if you are solo like me. And that's basically about it. Everything else is up to you, uh, how you play and how you want to get your um, playstyle going. But don't forget your gems because I've, I've been using them very much lately and I do feel a huge difference. So yeah you get more stats you get more damage resistance whatever is the stat that you're boosting and it's so helpful in my opinion but yeah let's start with the actual route all right so this route is probably not too strange to you since i included some of the most popular locations to farm legendaries and also experience in the game such as the White Spring Golf Club or West Tech. They are not new locations, but I think everything together, they make an exceptional uh, strategy to farm both things at once. And that's perfect. The first location in my route is the White Spring Golf Club. And you can get up to 10 legendaries per run if you are lucky. And that's quite impressive. I think it's the location where you can get the most legendaries at once and in such a short amount of time. And my strategy here is to first approach the door, shoot something into the air to make sound and lure them to me. Then kill them one by one by slowly going backwards. This way the loot won't overlap each other and it makes it much easier to check for legendary or useful items later on when we have killed everything. Now keep an eye for these gangrenos uh, ones because they can also drop some legendaries. Not only the legendary ones drop the items. So that's an example right there. And let's start the counting because you can legit get a dozen of legendaries just in this tiny place. It's crazy. Now you should also collect the caps and whatever items you need, like red aways, red axes, anything you might want to sell later as well. But I will leave that to you to decide and sometimes some of them stay inside like they don't come out so i suggest you to check the place at least once to look for more for example this guy here didn't come out and this one as well they are not legendaries but they could be so you never know what you are missing and there's this guy here who's a legendary as well but let's keep moving to the next location. 
which by the way is at the white spring houses it's just ahead of the gulf spring you have to follow this path here it's basically to go forward from where you start it's very easy and you can also find a few legendaries in this area again i use my shotgun to make sound and lure them out of the buildings and i start killing one by one and it's a very effective strategy in my opinion also you get to save a lot of ammo if you are using a melee weapon and there you go the first legendary is right here but please keep in mind that you will not find the same legendaries or the same amount every single time you do this you probably know it by now or you should because uh it's very random what you can find and where it's just in this particular area uh but sometimes i find like two or three sometimes i find ten like you saw in the previous uh, golf club run I think it depends a lot on the players like if they have just killed the area you will probably not find uh, many legendaries if any at all but that's how it is in game after this area you just have to keep going forward towards the next buildings and in this house you can find again another two or three legendaries just keep doing the same strategy as usual and you will soon find them and as you can see there can be uh, several stars this guy I just killed had two stars it's very random what you can find in this uh, part of the map you can find just a legendary with no stars or one with two or even three stars which is really great now you might be able to find one more legendary in this next place but it's very rare and as you can see there are more enemies but i didn't find any other legendary it's up to you to decide if you want to come here or not now this is not really part of the route since it's an event but i'm adding three extras to this route which are really great events that you shouldn't miss if you spot them in your map the first one is near white spring and it's called Runyon fever you probably have done it dozens and dozens of times because it's one of the best events in game for legendary farming so you can get uh several star legendaries up to three stars and they actually drop quite decent items they are uh, high level not the highest sometimes they are level 40 but they are still good items and totally worth getting especially now with the legendary vendor coming soon you might want to collect a lot of legendary items to trade later when you have the chance and as you can see, you get three star legendaries quite often. And it's very easy to do. As you can see, I'm doing this solo. There are no players around. And another great thing is that you can collect all the weapons they drop, normal ones, of course, and then scrap them for mods. And voila, it's a very nice combination. I love this event so much. The third location I've chosen is very close. It's called the Emmet Mountain Disposal Site. It's right here. And you can also find a decent amount of enemies here. They can either be um, these ghouls or mine uh, rats. And they are quite high level and they drop caps and useful items. So it's a nice way to get experience outside. And then if you go inside, there's a few more to kill and a high level dead claw that can sometimes be a legendary uh, after patch 6 however it become much more rare for uh, him to be legendary i used to find him every 5 10 runs as a legendary now not so much i tried over 15 times and i wasn't able to find him once as a legendary 
Nonetheless, it still drops armor and weapons, normals of course, and some useful stuff like steam packs and food, gears, and nice experience, so I do think it's worth coming here even if there's no legendary. Now you should head to the National Isolated Radio Array, where you can find lots of mutants and one legendary quite often. So you should go to this building when you teleport here. And again, shoot to make noise and lure them out of their rooms. And start the killing. They are generally high level, which is great for experience. And there are some dozen of them. This place is also very good for materials, if you need them. And as you can see, they drop caps often, typical of mutants, which is very useful, no matter the case, because caps are always useful, in my opinion. And yeah, that's it. The legendary is normally in this building, but you can keep going up to the roof where you can find even more mutants to kill. And then you can follow this little path and head to this next building where you'll find even more mutants to kill. But there is no legendary here. At least I never found one. It's just for experience purposes. But let's move on to the next location. Now it's time for the mythical West Tech Research Center, where you can find up to four legendaries, which can range from no star to three stars. And you will probably find your first one outside and kill everything you see, because there are also a dozen of mutants here. They are all usually high level and drop caps and nice items and a lot of experience which is great and once you are done just head inside and in here you might want to do the quest if you haven't yet i will leave the link uh, to the guide up there so you can visit our mission guide if you are new to this location and you can get the access card and navigate very easily through this facility. Now, there are many, but many mutants here, so be careful how you engage. I suggest you use your power armor and keep an eye on your HP because you can easily die here if you are not careful. And here is a three-star legendary. They are quite often inside the facility. So I've picked up some very interesting weapons from West Tech so far. And then you can head to the main room, go upstairs and you will probably find another legendary. It's just one star, but still very useful. You can sometimes find another um, at the other door, at the bridges with the acid deposits, but in this case I didn't find anything else. Location number 6 is at the General Steakhouse, where you can find a legendary sometimes. It's also decent experience, since they are generally high level, and you can get caps and the usual stuff you can get from mutants. Besides, it's close to our next locations, so I thought I might add this one as well. It's convenient and useful, so why the hell not? Now, about the legendary, he is usually in the main room, right here where I am, or he is at the roof on the very top. But yeah, it varies a lot, and in this case it was at the top, right here, and he was at two stars. So keep in mind that you can find any legendary in this location. The next one is at the Robco Research Center. You can sometimes find a legendary, it's very rare. I haven't been able to find him lately, but there are tons of mutants inside. Sometimes you can find robots as well, such as Mr. Gutsis. 
and the experience is very nice so i suggest you to come here and kill everything you see and if you come across a legendary the better if not you still get what you came here for which is uh, mostly the experience and since we have just talked about the Robco research facility if you see this event it's called a wall armaments please do it because you can again get up to three legendaries and they can be also up to three stars the event is relatively uh, fast and easy to do uh, be careful with the Gutsis because they hit very hard if you stand still but as I said you can easily get legendaries so that's amazing Then you should head to the Wataga Civic Center because you can find tons of Scorched inside and you will often find a legendary which can be 3 stars as well. I often find this guy in this upper balcony and as you can see there are many Scorched to farm experience. But once you're done you will probably find your legendary up this balcony. I always find him here and it can be a bit tricky to get there but I will show you how you just need to head to these stairs right here and at the very top you will find the legendary and you can kill him and collect his nice bounty so don't forget this one can be up to three stars and as you can see the gear is quite high level One of my favorite places is the Watauga Emergency Services, as you probably know by now. And you usually get a legendary by simply going there. It's very easy, you only have to go um, inside the building, go up the stairs and then go around this room. And in this corner you will often find um, a legendary. It can also be up to 3 stars, but it's not that common. Usually you will just find a common legendary with no stars and that's okay since it's so easy and quick to do this. The last extra I have for you is Monster Mirage, the event, and it's at a high school in Watauga, of course. And again, you can get up to three legendaries which can range from no stars to three stars. Now, from my experience, I often find them with one to three stars and they also drop very nice items since they are all high level and the experience is fabulous, really. Now, the downside of this is that it takes quite some time to fully do the event, but keep in mind that you get rewards for completing each stage of the event. There are three. so yeah i think it's a very a great thing to do it's time consuming but the value we get out of it it's totally worth it the final location for this guide is the big band tunnel east i have selected it because it's ridiculous the amount of experience you can get here there are dozens and dozens of scorch you can kill starting by outside and then you go inside and there's again lots of them to kill now there is no legendaries here at all but i think it's a great touch and a change of scenario to come here if you really want to level up and gather that experience outside of events so here's my suggestion and trust me it does work quite well now, if you manage to follow these route, including the extras, aka the events, you will surely get about 30 legendary items and get, I would say, around two levels in two hours. I have been doing this in the last week, not so much uh, playing because I've been sick, but still I managed to get over 10 levels and that says a lot. I hope this strategy helps you. I am Arthur Branku, thank you for watching and 
Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!